I, I see a reflection of my dad a lot because he also has a gap teeth like I do. So we were very close. It started with my dad wanting to make a difference in people's lives and helping people. That's the whole motivation. So after I lost my dad, I wanted to do something different to make sure that people don't lose their loved ones the way I did. Not being exposed to anything that would be harmful to their lives knowing that my dad died from chemical exposures because of the kind of work that he was doing. So I was so desperate to try to save lives, uh, maybe in the hospital, but then I realized there's a bigger way I could do it by maybe helping people eat safer food, live in a safer environment. And that's the whole motivation of my science. I just want people to live in a better world My mother tells me that I was a very curious child. And the most important question I always ask myself is why? Do things happen the way they do? So it's not easy, I would say, to be a woman, a young girl in Malawi, because you're exposed to a lot of challenges. Uh, most girls get married so early. And I also think that because of the way our society handles girls, some of them have issues with confidence at school they would find it okay to fail and not to do other things simply because they're girls. The expectations on the young girls are quite lower than they would be on a young man. Expectations as into how far you can go, expectations in, as into what kind of jobs you can take, what kind of careers you can pick. I was probably sitting on a leaf and became um, one of the things that I had to catch. So we got a grasshopper. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the jar. I am what I am today because I had mentors. They saw the potential that I had and tried to nurture that and help me grow in it. They kept on pushing me and say, although no one has ever done it in the country, but you can still do it. In the test system, which is the gustatory system, when the insect touches the surfaces that have been treated, the... I wanted to look at one of the most important things that Malawi relies on, that's agriculture. The pesticides we spray on our crops, we actually eat them directly. You can see here a cabbage plant that is almost not palatable for someone to buy and eat. So this happens quite a lot to a lot of farmers who do not have an idea on how they can control the, the pest in the field. So they end up losing much of their crop and that's a threat to their livelihood as farmers. We are always competing with insects. Could it be possible that I could also explore the sense of smell in insects and how can it be used in agriculture to reduce the toxins? You don't actually need all that chemical to spray it on your crop. Small concentration would actually steer or move insects away from your crops without killing them. So my inspiration came in to reduce the chemical exposure and we leave the environment as stable as it's supposed to be. How has Organization for Women in Science in the developing world helped me? The first thing is they helped me stay in my country and do the science I wanted in my country without needing to travel abroad to do it. And more importantly, they have exposed me to networks I never imagined I'd have. We also have established the Academy of Sciences in Malawi. I think Malawi is rich with scientists, but uh, we are richer when we're well connected with the world.
The whole reason is to bring passionate scientists together, boost the confidence that we can do this thing, but more importantly, provide evidence-based advice to the government that is independent and very objective that would help the people and also move the country's development forward. I think, for me, mentoring is not just a duty, but it's a moral obligation that I need to help someone become a better version of themselves. Even if they don't choose to become entomologists, but at whatever they do, they need to do it the best. So when you're looking at the olfactory system, you're actually taking... I'm looking forward to a generation of the next scientists who dare the odds to do the impossible things and, and not be afraid to explore unfamiliar fields of science. I would be very proud of myself that um, maybe my dad would be happy that I've done something that could help people live a better life.